East home opener for the Creighton Blue Jays, taking on the Butler Bulldogs from the CHI Health Center in Omaha. And even Santa came out for the game today, not deterred by these frigid temperatures. These fans are excited to see Creighton in action and to see this man back on the floor for the Blue Jays after missing his last three games. Hello again, everybody. Matt Schumacher, Nick Ba with you. This is a get right game for the Blue Jays. Nick, they've lost the last six. Meanwhile, for Butler, an opportunity for their first quad one win of the season. Yeah, so a lot of stake for both sides here. And with Creighton, you bring up Kalkbrenner. Enormously important. You need that infusion of confidence with him back in the lineup to score and defend at the rim. And then when you look at Butler, had to manage some things through some injuries, but a big opportunity for a nice resume-boosting win here. Here in Omaha. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. You see Kalkbrenner back in the starting lineup there. He's missed the last three games. Butler getting healthy at the right time. Aliyah Lee, Jalen Thomas, they will come off the bench. The home team in this series has won the last 10 meetings. They've split it five and five, and the games oftentimes have been close. And I'm excited about the matchup we have right at center court right now manny bates the nc state transfer an outstanding shot blocker in his own right taking on the reigning big east defensive player of the year in kalkbrenner and kalkbrenner wins the tip for creighton in the home grays with the blue trim butler the injuries and illness manny bates a turnaround over the left shoulder goes right over kalkbrenner it bates is a big time player yep he can really defend the rim and score at a high clip. Kaluma a three. And a needed one at that. First point of the night for the Blue Jays. And Arthur Kaluma, a good top 10 team that had Final Four aspirations. So regardless of how you want to frame it, you lose six in a row and that's how you're being viewed. It's not going to land well for people. But I'm totally with you. Been close losses against good teams. Kaluma met at the rim by Jalen Thomas in just his second game of the season, and now he's shaken up. Remember, get the sense that Harris is in a good flow, too. Farabello and Miller both on the floor for the first time tonight for Creighton. Kalkbrenner still without a shot attempt. Gives it up to Nemhard and rattles home a triple. It's important. Nemhart started. Lukosh is another offensive board. That's his second, and he pays it off again. See, that's a perfect example. That's a shot a year ago. Kalkbrenner alters or blocks, but Lukosh is able to finish over the top of it. Kalkbrenner puts in a three. How about that? His first shot attempt from downtown, and that gets the crowd. Shireman. The defense twice from Butler, fighting the dribble. Five on the timer. Farabello almost walked. Shireman with two. Oh! From the logo, Baylor Shireman knocks it up at 20. Finally getting the crap. And the rebound, Shireman. He's almost averaging a double-double. Nearly 10 rebounds a game is Shireman. Farabello through the legs. Frederick King puts it home with a two-hand jam. That wasn't an accident. That was straight through the five. Hot at the end of yes. last season when Ryan Emhard was out. Started the last eight games of the year at played point his, guard. Yeah, played his best basketball, too. Farabello picks the pocket of Hunter and pulls it back out. Shireman. That's a three. Uh, Thad Mata is beside himself right now. You turn it over, you're in trouble. In Division One. And Coloma gets involved from downtown. That is his second triple. In a really it long time. Like maybe maybe really the entire season. This is an important 90 seconds here, both ways. Kaluma off the bounce, behind the back, around and down. One who's past the defender. 6-0 run for the Blue Jays. 1-0-5 left in the opening period. 
And Lukosius air ball to three. And here come the Jays. Shireman pops up and under off the window. And Shireman leads all. At one point, led in this game. 16 to 7. They had a couple of good runs in that first half, including an 8 0 run. Dogs have won four of their last five. Cock Brenner, first points in the paint tonight for the seven footer. Bounce pass, King puts it home. Big time play, Baylor Shireman. When he's in attack mode, good things happen. Arabello. of the night for the Blue Jays. Shireman blocked by Taylor, and there's Kohlkrenner to lay it in. It's like a pinball machine. Jeez. Maybe the most lucky if, if the step. Yeah, Butler, not an overly big team. And outside of Bates, not a lot of great rebounders on the floor. The three piece for the seven footer. Better tonight than in certain points over their six game losing streak. Well, the other thing, too, the defense has been better. So they've gotten more of this, more transition, early offense. So the, the defense, your defense is, is directly tied to your offense. Kalkbrenner, nifty move, and he is up to 18 points. Out attempts. Nick, but it's a good sign for Butler to see him back on the floor. Absolutely. Him, Thomas, and Ali are both huge to give Butler any sort of depth. They've had none, no bench support throughout this season. Ali, Ali rejected at the rim. Baylor Shireman doing it in every which way tonight for the Blue Jays. Boy, that's two big-time blocks in this second half. Shireman not necessarily a guy that... Plays above the rim and known as a shot blocker. But wow. That's the eighth team block of the night. Alexander. Rhythm three. Knocks it in. So Creighton will come away with their first Big East Conference win. And improve the one and one in league play, seven and six on the year, and more importantly, Nick, snap a six game skip. Huge. Needed to win bad, needed confidence bad, and I think needed to get home as well. Yates, a chance at a three point play. Uh, Creighton has been really good in this building against Butler. They'll improve to 11 and 2 all time against the Dodgers. They shot 56% from the floor and 50% from downtown after 27% all the month of December. And listen to this crowd. Greg McDermott and Thad Mata meet at midcourt. And all smiles for the Blue Jays, snapping a six-game skid, improving to one and one in league play. Shireman, terrific. And Kalkbrenner, even better in his return after missing the last three games. Stick around, we'll have more from Omaha after the break. Creighton wins it, 78-56. Creighton big winners tonight in their Big East home opener. Arthur Kaluma, one of four Blue Jays in double figures. They take down Butler at home just before the holidays. Ryan Kalkbrenner and his return after missing the last three games was huge as well. As we welcome in Greg McDermott after the game, Coach, you snap a six-game six skid. Oof. Your club was down 16-7 to seven at one point in this game, and then everything changed. What was the difference down the stretch for the well, Blue Jays? It, I just thought we were flat early. Uh, you know, we we've had we probably had our th three best consecutive practices uh, of the year on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, where I thought we were a little bit more connected. We were trying to help each other out when we made a mistake. 
Um, I thought prior to that, when we made a mistake, everybody looked at each other. And uh, we talked in the timeout about you, you, if you're not bringing, you're either giving energy or you're taking it away. There's no neutral when it comes to energy. And um, I thought for Francisco Felabello came off the bench, changed our energy level, and then it was it was contagious from that point forward. You just pointed at 22 points in the second half. You pretty proud of the defense in the second half? Yeah, I thought we did a good job. I thought, you know, after Bates kind of got going a little, little bit there early, I thought Fred and, and Ryan were much better at, um, you know, making his catches uh, not quite so deep and then being more physical on the back down. So, um, you know, we got to get rid of the, got to get rid of some of the turnovers. We got to clean that up, but, uh, you know, we needed a win. Hey, how about Ryan Conkrenner tonight? 19 points on eight of nine, plus everything else he did, rebounding, assisting defensively. This is a guy who has practiced half the time over the last week. Yeah, he's practiced three days part of the time, and I'm, I'm probably going to get in trouble from some of our medical team because <laughs> I think their minute restriction and mine were probably two different things. Uh, but Kalk and I talked before the game. We were, I was going to kind of watch him, and and I said, you got to be honest with me and how you feel. And, and there were four or five times from the game in the game, and he said, Coach, I need a quick one. And I thought Frederick was terrific. And, you know, the silver lining and, and what happened during our last six games and with, with Kalk's sickness is, you know, the confidence that Frederick has in himself and, and the confidence that uh, his teammates have in him right now. He, he's playing really good basketball. Well, Coach, thanks a lot for your time. Congrats on the win. Creighton gets it. It was a get-right game for the Blue Jays. They now are 1-1 one and one in league play and look ahead to the DePaul Blue Demons on Christmas Day. Ryan Conkrenner leading the way, 19 points on 8 of 9, chipped in a few blocks, a couple of assists, four rebounds, and not a single turnover, Nick, for the seven-footer. He was outstanding. You can feel his presence on the floor. It's a get-right game for the Blue Jays. Certainly helps with Colt Brenner's in the equation. Yes, it does. Jays back in the win column. They take down Butler 78-56. Let's toss it to Los Angeles where Mike Hill is hanging around with the fellas.